Hey, welcome to the Toadstead. Now lately I've been making a few videos about the equipment that we're working on. And, you know, when you have a homestead, it just, things don't start and stop. They just are. And we try to have indoor jobs, outdoor jobs, just to stay busy. And uh, one of them is this Onan. Yeah, I know some of you are interested in the, in the Chevrolet. Okay, hot rod motor just sitting there. <clears throat> Ignore it. It's just kind of taking up space right now. But this, I've had this one for, ooh, I guess about four years, and it was a backup generator before I moved out to the Toadstead, and it's going to be a backup generator again. And this is a 6.5K, and that's just about the right size for what we're doing. Um, it just so happened that when I came across this generator, I already had the matching remote. That's from a different generator, but it'll work fine on this one. Now the idea, this one runs and drives, or at least it did uh, three and a half years ago when I brought it up here. And what we want to do with this one is mount it in very, very close to the, to the house. And this will run all of our basic needs. Now it is gasoline, but the conversion to propane is extremely easy on one of these and that's what we're going to do. The Toadstead is going to be, uh, the, util the main gas utility is propane. We don't have uh, access to natural gas. So we plan on putting not a stupidly oversized but an oversized tank out here next to the house and yes we're in the hurricane zone. Uh, Katrina passed pretty much right over us. We're about ooh, 50 between 40 and 50 miles from the uh, from the Gulf Shore, about 45 minutes by car, and um, we lose power. We know we're out here in the country, and on a reg on a semi regular basis, we will lose electrical power, and <laughs> we don't like that. So we'll have this one here, and this one will pop up in later videos as we get it up onto the stand, get it running, and when we do the propane conversion, especially because. Um, I'm a big believer in having an al alternate sources of power, and this won't be the only one. This is just going to be scratching the surface. But as we're getting closer and closer to actually building the house, there's going to be a lot of pieces that just slowly come together over the next, oh, say, year. But wanted to get you started seeing some of the things that we're doing. And uh, <laughs> yeah, by the way, rocks. <laughs> All right. See y'all next time around. Thanks for coming along for the ride.